guys, welcome to today's video and welcome on into my beauty stash. Today I'm going to be ranking the nine eyeshadow palettes. Well, technically 10, but one I'm not going to put in today's ranking video. I'm going to be ranking the palettes that I tried in February of 2024. These may or may not have been sent to me in PR, some I did purchase myself. And I just want to recap some of the good things, some of the not so good things of February 2024. If it is your first time here on my channel, I just want to say hello and welcome to all of you. My name is Steph. I love trying out new makeup. I have a soft spot in my heart for indie makeup and I am primarily a new makeup review channel. But I do multiple looks with eyeshadow palettes, makeup ranking videos as you're watching today. Get ready with me style of videos where I created this full makeup look. I'm also in the middle of a foundation wear test, which you guys will probably see in that video go up already. But if that sounds like something you want to see on pretty much a regular basis, I do upload as often as I can, whenever I can. Be sure to click on that subscribe button hit the bell next to it that way you can be notified every time I do drop a new video and if you're a fan of eyeshadow palette ranking videos please give this video a big thumbs up before you go as usual I'll have all of the palettes and what I'm wearing linked and listed in the description box some of those things might be affiliate links if you do end up shopping through them I thank you so so much for supporting me and my channel the only palette I'm not ranking today is of course my Nueva Vida palette this is my collaboration first ever collaboration with Gourmand Girls and of course this would make the number one list but I'm going to keep it fair I'm gonna take this out of the ranking and I'm gonna have nine palettes to rank for you guys today so if you guys want to hear and see how these palettes ranked for February 2024 here in my stash keep on watching okay guys so coming in at number nine unfortunately are these the creamy palettes from Huda Beauty these were not really what I thought they were going to be. I struggled using these. I struggled with what type of brush do I use with these. These aren't for me. I don't think these are very user friendly, like beginner user friendly. But if you are one who loves your creamy eyeshadows, then this might be something for you because you have a cool toned and you have a warm tone. I've already packaged them up because they are going to go back tomorrow, unfortunately, because this is not something that I would ever Ever reach for again but I wanted to give them a fair shot and unfortunately these just didn't do it for me but hopefully if you like them they're working out great for you that's what matters most. Coming in at number eight are uh, two out of four palettes that I picked up from Shop Miss A. These are pretty decent palettes. Like they really are pretty decent. The reason why I'm putting them in the number eight spot is because uh, two of them arrived broken. So they were uh, a set of four palettes, four quad palettes. Two of them were broken. I couldn't use them. The, the shadow was all over the other shades. They were just impossible to use. But for like two bucks, three bucks, these were actually pretty good. This one was my favorite. Got a lot of compliments when I created a look with this one. Actually, I created a look using both of them, and these are pretty good. This one is called uh, Supernova, and this one over here is called Celestial. Coming in at number seven is a palette I was sent in PR, and I'm a little disappointed with this one on why it's landing kind of towards the bottom, and it's the Lovesick palette palette from Wicked Widow. My affiliate code with them is Steph in case you want to check out anything else. But for me, I felt this palette, I love the color story and I love how it opens like a book and I love the eight pan size of this palette. But I just felt like it missed the mark a little bit, not necessarily with the mattes, more so with the shimmers. I just, I guess I had higher expectations for this one. And then when I was using it and applying it, it just kind of felt like there was just left something to be desired. And usually I'm a fan of everything Wicked Widow does. Unfortunately, they can't all be winners and that's why this one is finding itself in the number seven spot. So coming in at number six is the Reckless Romance from Beauty Bay. This one could already be on sale, not too sure, but this is a 20 pan palette. I wanna say this was like 20 or $25 and um, it's a great palette. Like everything performs really well. It was a cool take on a Valentine's Day release. Very affordable. It's good quality. The shimmers are good. The mattes are good. You know, I... I wouldn't have mind a more scaled down version, like maybe a nine pan, maybe even a 16 pan. I just reviewed their Smoky palette, by the way, which I don't know if you've seen that video go up. You probably saw that video go up already before you're watching this one. 
good quality there, good quality here. If these are shades that you're going to reach for on a regular basis, I would definitely check this one out because it's definitely worth owning and I like collecting these now. Now every time Beauty Bay has a release of one of their palettes, I always make sure to pick it up and try it for you guys and I've only been disappointed once and that was with the Love Notes palette. All the other ones have been really good and Reckless Romance definitely deserves a place in your stash. Coming in at number five is this cutie patootie over here, the Betty Boop A Dupe palette. This is a 15 pan color story from none other than Glamlight. If you are looking for a red and pink palette, predominantly red palette, this is going to be for you. Amazing glam light quality, amazing shimmers. I love the inclusion of the matte black. This palette just has it all from its design and everything. It's just it's just so cool. I love seeing glam light like the collections that they do. They're collaborating with Kiss, the band, I think, really soon. So that'll be very interesting. They just have a really good formula and they do it at a good price point. I feel like for the packaging and the quality of their shadows, I feel like they're rather reasonably priced. Let me know what you think about that, but Glamlight, if you haven't tried them yet, you definitely need to try at least one of their palettes. And if you love red palettes and this Boopa Dupe palette, their collab with Betty Boop definitely needs to be in your stash. Coming in at number four, the beautiful Adept Cosmetics Flying Fiddles palette. Like, I almost put this one in the number one spot just for the cover alone. This is the faux leather packaging with lace on top of it. It is stunning. Like, this packaging, goals. Definitely goals. I purchased this myself, but I do have an affiliate code with Adept, and it is Steph. That saves you 10% off loving the colors. We do get one, two, three, four matte shadows. I would love to have seen one or two mattes, but that's okay. Adept Cosmetics is usually a shimmer heavy palette. These have some beautiful shifts to them. If you have this palette, let me know what your thoughts have been. I've had a wonderful experience with this. I love that we're getting, you know, a deeper, a couple deeper shades, and then we have some mid-tone shades over here. And those four mattes they included pair perfectly with those shimmers. And I'm loving that we're getting like this marbled shade. I'm kind of over like the rainbow shades that they do, like in little rows or columns. I hope we don't really see too much of that going forward into 2024, but like a little marbled effect shade, I don't don't mind or just a straight up duo multi-chrome. I don't mind that either. Adept has an amazing formula. This palette is beautiful inside and out and it's definitely worth having. So coming in at number three, the Uden's Eye Legendary Diversa Round 2 Collection. This is the collaboration with Tina, aka The Fancy Face, with Annette from Annette's Makeup Corner and with Judy. Judy is the pastel palette. Annette has, let me show you Annette's palette because I feel like this was Annette stepping outside of her comfort zone. If you compare this palette to her other one, which was the Mighty Wolves palette, I believe. But I feel like some of these shades, especially like the lighter tone, like the browns and stuff, I feel like those were a little bit different for Annette and I like it. I like that she went with this. I love the yellow and the red. I think it's so pretty, but all around, I feel like these were uh, maybe one or two steps down neutral wise. They weren't as bright and vibrant as the round one collection was. And I'm not mad about that at all. I mean, we have so many colorful palettes. It's, it's nice when we can get some neutrals thrown in with the colors. And that just helps us, you know, make it a very versatile palette and create several different looks with it. But I like what she did here. Um, I think this, again, was something a little bit different for Annette. And this is the Mighty Monster palette. If I was gonna rank them, which I've mentioned this before, I would put Judy's palette in number three just because it's a pastel palette and pastels really aren't my thing. Like for me, this is a companion palette. Although I did take this to Vegas to the Super Bowl and I did get a lot of compliments on the look I created, but um, it's still beautiful. It's beautiful and I'm gonna use it. So I would put this one at number three. I would put Mighty Monster in number two. And then at number one, of course, I would put Tina's Earthwood palette, Tina, AKA the fancy 
fancy face. I just, again, the cover art is stunning. It is beautiful. It was beautiful on her first palette, the Hummingbird palette, and I think it's even better this year. This is what her color story looks like. And you can tell what I mean. Like these aren't as vibrant as her first palette was, and that's okay. I love these shades. I think they all coordinate so well. All three palettes, you can use them together to create an amazing look, and I still need to do that. I want to do like a reel or a YouTube short where I use all three palettes to create one look. I think that would be really cool, but this one was definitely my favorite color story of the three. Congratulations to all three ladies, and congratulations to Uden's Eye on another amazing collaboration. I think everyone just did a beautiful job, and hopefully you guys got to pick these palettes up and add them to your stash. Coming up in the number two spot is the Deadly Rose palette from Clarity Cosmetics. You guys know I love Clarity Cosmetics. They are one of my favorite indie makeup brands. I did buy this one myself. You have to be careful with the shimmer shadows, in particular this one and this one because they are very softly pressed. They did not come broken. Clarity wraps their palettes really well, but when you're dipping your brush or your finger in them, they're gonna kind of just shift a little bit. So you just kind of want to be careful and press them down. This is a really cool color story like this is a grungy Valentine's Day or this is a good Christmas color story holiday color story as well performance is spot on I've always loved Clarity Cosmetics formula I have an affiliate code with them it is step 5 and that gives you 10% off of your order but I don't know if codes are working right now but you can try it and see if it works if it doesn't uh, maybe there's another code out there floating around, but I bought this myself. I love this color story so much because it has two green shadows, but I like the taupey shadow up here and this lighter shadow over here. This lighter shadow goes on a little deeper than what it looks in the pan, but a very versatile palette. Love the shimmers, but yes, be careful with them because they are very softly pressed. The only thing I don't like about this palette is the skull. Not really into skulls, but if that's your thing, then this palette is definitely for you. And last, but definitely not least, Fantasy Cosmetica Wizard Palette. This is my number one palette of February 2024. I think Jordan, who is the owner of Fantasy Cosmetica, did a beautiful job with this palette. She did send it to me in PR. Thank you so much, Jordan, for thinking of me. I do have an affiliate code of Fantasy Cosmetica, and it is Steph. That saves you 10% off of your order. I love this color story so much. Like, there's just what more can I say? The yellow with the light blue, and then the deeper blue, and this like blue purple shade down here. It's perfection. I love the size of it. I love the formula, the layout, the color story. It's just a multi-functional palette. You can just either, either use it on its own or use it as a companion palette. For me, I can use this on its own and create so many different looks. My initial video, I created two looks using this palette. I've used it since. Tons of compliments when I wear it, especially this shade right here. This is a beautiful beautiful duo multi-chrome shadow um i just i think there's something extra special i think it's the yellow and blue combination for me in this wizard palette by fantasy cosmetica if it's still in stock you gotta add this one to your stash all right guys so those were the nine palettes that i tried this past month february 2024 let me know what some of your favorite palettes were in february or what were some palettes that maybe you just you thought you were gonna love and then it turned out that they didn't work out for you i know i had a couple surprises in my stash in this lineup today but sound off in the comments down below and let's get the conversation started i want to thank you guys so much for watching another one of my videos y'all have a great day or night wherever it is y'all are at stay hydrated drink that water and i'm going to see you all very soon bye